Revelio. Gold. The girl's friend won't come looking for her. Too dangerous. We're wasting our time. Doink. Perhaps it's dinner. Right. Good break. Uh, Bombarder. Uh, Try it again. Ow. Oh yeah, you wanna you wanna you wanna continue that threat? On your part. Might want to look up. I'm gonna look down. You'll find your head laying there. That he must be here somewhere. You found us. I knew you would realize I had left my one for you. Speak to Mr. Rick over here. I'm Oh yeah, you did get captured, didn't you? Hello, Hamora. Am I unlocking this for? Oh. Rebellion. Hey, dude. Mr. Rabe. Daisy told me you'd been abducted. You spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you all right? I am all right. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed, and there's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Mr. Rabe, I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. Okay. Oh, that was easy. Revelio. Lumos. Thank you, Mr. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. That you do. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But be careful. Thank you, my young friends. Be prepared for a fight. These Ashwinders must pay. You want your wand back? Oh, we don't need to fight. I already took them all out. We're good. Unless they feel like sending a second wave of men to die. Twitch team, they don't feel like sending a second wave of men to die. Let's find Officer Singer and put an end to Harlow one... You know your mom's gonna find out about. Oh, hello. Natsai Onai. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you two. Is Mr. Rabe all right? He is. I sent him home to his wife, Miss Onai. Your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashbinders. 
In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. The authorities haven't been much help. Yes, fine. Also. Do you have enough evidence to take down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot? Well, it's certainly a good start. How much more do you need? But you can leave this to me now. There's literally a That's man. Right. You may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. How much more evidence do you need, woman? I don't think you're competent at your job. I'm just going to say that right now. Next time, please leave it to the authorities. Okay, well, the authority standing in front of me hasn't done much to begin with. God, irritating woman. Let's see what one or two of these side quests down here are. Easy. What are you up to now? Oh. We oh, something must be done about the vile beast for the old the area. Oh, hello. Got it. The Ashwinders cannot be allowed to run rough. Is everything all right, Madame Olivier? Madame Olivier, and no, everything is not all right. The vermin known as the Ashwinders have infested nearby Clagmar Castle. Disrupting not only our sense of peace, but our valuable trait. It appeared that they were finally going to slither away until Sylvana Selwyn arrived. Sylvana Selwyn? Head rat. My guess is that if someone were to take out Selwyn, the rest of the Ashwinders would disperse. But Selwyn is a skilled wizard. I certainly can't take care of him myself. Believe me, I wish I could. I'm at my wit's end. Sylvana Selwyn? I thought Victor Rookwood headed up the Ashwinders. Selwyn's one of Rookwood's lieutenants. Not quite as terrifying as Theophilus Harlow, but a menace nonetheless. Where is Clagmar Castle? Clagmar Castle's along the south coast, south and to the west of here. Everybody who's like standing idle in this game looks like they're standing there like bawling their fists with any conversation. What's so dangerous about the Ashwinders? They're not your typical thieves and extortionists. Not that typical thieves and extortionists are lovely company. They would not leave poor Bella Navarro alone. She'd given them everything, but still they kept threatening her. She was ready to go back to her family in Italy. Almost lost her livelihood. They are ruthless. I could take care of Selwyn for you. Goodness, no. I'd never ask a student to confront Selwyn. But I'm offering a nice bounty on his head. Feel free to put the word out. I only want Craigcroft to go back to normal. I'm I'll collect that bounty. Sounds as if Sylvana Selwyn has to go. Oh, I didn't actually select the quest. Yes, I did. What's wrong with me? Oh, level 
Oh, it's down here. I forgot which marker was what. Was what? Oh. <laughs> Easy. This is baby territory. Travel was before I invented flu. What level even am I? Thirty-three. <laughs> I got this. And if I don't got this, I'll live. To, I won't live to regret those words. If I don't got this, I won't live to regret my cocky attitude. So there. I do, however, sense that I'm not supposed to be doing these side quests till a little bit later. This must be the castle that Sylvana Selwyn and his thieves are in. I, I don't feel bad fleecing those cake slappers in Cragcroft. If Selwyn's plan works out, you suppose we'll all be rich. Who's saying this? Hello, ladies and germs. Peekaboo! Nice try. Is that the best? I think you'll like this. Here, like this, bitch. Why did I try to defeat hit him with that? Explosive! Arrest the Valencia. You've heard many of my friends and now you bring up. Confringo! Bombarder. Bombarder. Ow, that's not fair. You want to defend yourself? Oh! Arrest the Valencia. Arrest the Valencia. Lady, get my giraffe down here. Oh, I hit him. That's it for Selwyn. No, 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 no. Who told you you could run? She says as she dies. No, 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 no. Where are you going? Come back and have some fun. Rebellion. I think I just did the equivalent of shooting someone in the back as they're running away. But you know what? Evil. I don't mind. What are we even doing here? We ought to be at the hogshead. This is a waste of our time. I wish that guy's voice just cracked when he said time. Suppose he's worth a What's this? A child wandered too far from home? Bombarda. No, 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 no. Where, where, where's the cocky exterior you just showed? What's this? A child just wandered too far from home. Oh, hello. No, go back to being a barrel. I like you better when you were a barrel. Well. Goodness. Hello. Somebody else. I see you too. If it isn't the herbology master, always bring you. Yeah, I have I have plants. You want to see them? Yeah, what were you talking about, the Herbology Master? Oh, hi. You ain't wearing that goblin helm you stole. Never did care much. Arrest Oh, shit. Nice friendly fire. Ah, uh, it's so cute that they think they can stand up to me. 
show them why they're wrong. Oh, let me just do you a favor. Enjoy your chicken life. Bombarda. That was just the way in, yep. Revelio. Ooh, bigger stuff. Why are some tents so big but others aren't? It doesn't make any sense. Gotta do the polyjuice plot after this, because I don't think I'm supposed to be over here just yet. I'm not even gonna ask what the hell that sound was. For Christ's sake. There. I don't like the looks of that encampment. Revelio. There it is. Outside or oh no, it's down here. All right. I have questions about how you use flu flame without standing near one, but you know I'm not gonna question it. Kind of would have made more sense if they just made apparition the fast travel. How nice to see you, my young friend. Then again, you can't apparate yet because you're not the most not the most seventh year. Hello. About yeah, he's dead. Selwyn has been taken care of. You defeated Selwyn? Yeah, I threw a barrel at him. Beard. A student took down one of Rookwood's top fill. Then I suppose this bounty is yours. Well deserved. Does that does that say a lot about what does that say more about? <laughs> My abilities or does that does it say that I'm really good or does that mean that Selwyn was actually really terrible and you all were hyping him up more than he deserved? I'm glad I could help protect Crycroft from the Ashwinders. The thieves will finally leave us alone. Thanks to you. You're welcome in Crycroft any time. It's such a pleasant place when it's... Yeah. Oh, I'll take your word about that. Revelio. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like the Ministry of Magic sucks. <laughs> they don't do a damn thing. That's the weird thing about the Ministry for Magic, is that they're always hyped up as like, oh, the Ministry, you don't want to get on the Ministry's bad side. They don't seem to ever do anything. The only positive thing the Ministry ever does is like, literally, is literally just deal with Dumbledore's will and testament. That's about the only positive, that's the only, but the only thing they ever did that wasn't like, blatantly incompetent on their part. Rebellion. No wonder Voldemort took it over. That's weird. Revelio. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Thanks. What are you selling? Madame Navarro. How are you? Wonderful, thank you. I think I spoke to what her the last time I was up here. Let's see how I can assist you, my lovely. Yeah, I did. Just wanted to see what she was selling. Thank you for your time, my sweet. Sounds like she's dead behind the eyes. Alright. Back to the castle. Actually, first I'm going to drop by here and sell my stuff to Penny. On another adventure, are we? Penny's the best house elf. Nobody will talk. Nobody talks shit about Penny. It is wonderful to see you back here. Oh, there she is. Oh, perhaps today you have something you'd like Penny to sell for you? I will say, I am a little bit sad that the Haunted Hogsmeade shop wasn't like you could choose what the shop looked like, but to be fair, that'd probably be a pain in the ass to program. And again, I guess you could just set it up like the room of requirement. Eh. I'm not a developer. I don't know what goes into this stuff. Penny wishes 
you safe and wondrous travels. Wrong way. Hogwarts. Alrighty. Uh. Ooh. Yeah, I actually checked to see if there was any more uh, side quests popping up at uh, Hogwarts. All's well that ends, Bell. I do that real quick then, actually, instead. Oh, I should have fast traveled to the astronomy wing. In my defense, I didn't read where it said. The Hufflepuff. You look familiar. You're the one I'm talking to. You first year? Pardon me, is everything all right? No, no it's not. We only had two bells to go. But she just had to go and spoil things. I'm afraid I don't follow. Who spoiled things? Was it what bells? <sighs> Professor Black ordered Mr. Moon to take down the bells in the bell tower. Said they were giving him a headache. Those bells are a part of Hogwarts. I wasn't about to let that happen. So, I asked my friend Adelaide to help me put them back. We've always been a duo of sorts. Adelaide and Evangeline. Addie and Evie. Anyway. It was going swimmingly until Black started asking questions. Then she wasn't comfortable with our rule breaking. Now I'm stuck, unable to tell which bell goes where. Is it really that important that the bells go back up? Is it really that important? They're part of the school's history. Those bells likely told a young Merlin that he was running late to charms or called Ignatia Wildsmith to dinner. Who? We can't simply fiddle with history. We meant to be at stewards. Some people in modern, some people in the modern day could learn from that. It's lesson. certainly an odd decree, even for Black, taking down the bells for a headache. I agree. I thought it might also have been that they interrupted his hourly naps. That's all he does in his office, you know. But then I heard. Can you keep a secret? I can. I heard from Alice, who heard from Ollie, who heard from Eugenia, that it's because the bells reminded him of his wedding day. Breaks out in a sweat every hour on the hour, but mum's the word. If only two bells are left, isn't it fairly easy to tell which goes where? Easy for you, perhaps. I happen to be tone deaf. Mother likes to say I couldn't carry a tune if it hopped on my back like a chocolate frog. No point putting them back in if they don't sound just as they did before, for the sake of historical accuracy. Perhaps I could help put the bells back up. Really? Oh, that would be wonderful. The bells are in the bell tower, just above the music room. You're certainly of more help than Adelaide. Hey, don't worry about it. Be, be nice to her. Her uncle went missing. Oh, I think I did it already. Imagine the bells are just inside. In the oh, yeah, tower. I did it. I think I did it that one time I was the just cruising around. Up, Evangeline. Oh, you're a credit to the school. I can't wait to hear them. I can't wait for the headmaster to hear them. I wish I could see his face. He'll just order them to be taken Future down Future generations but... may not truly appreciate what you've done, but I do. 
and I hope that you do as well. You don't know how much this means for me and for Hogwarts. A rumpet horn. Huh, cool. Oh, hello. Oh, wait, is that what that... Oh, now I get what the... Oh. Oh, uh, <laughs> I get it. Okay. So the, the black flag over Hogwarts means that there's a quest in the area. That makes more sense. I'm not gonna, you gonna make me read it? You make me read it. Uh, the Ash Wanderers have ceased pestering me. I suspect that you're doing anything. We're really both are just leaving our honeymoon. Well, after we tell Mr. Hill of our recent marriage, wish me luck. Good luck. Uh, you are the talk of the school since you saved Mr. Rave and I from the Ash Wanderers. We have also come far. We should discuss the next steps and plans to stop Haro. You are, as they say, the bee's knees. Oh, hello. I'm truly awed what we accomplished. The final broom upgrade is better than ever I expected. Stop it. Oh, okay. Well, that's just ready. I mean, might as well. What are you up to now? Oh, hello again. Couldn't have perfected the broom upgrades without your help. Oh, my God. As always, I have a special prize for you. That's I a special prize? I truly enjoyed working with you. Thank you for believing in me. Lucky I'm rolling in it, dude. Why's that be complaining? All right. Oh, I was wondering if he could just constantly speed around like this. Oh, that goes down so much slower. being here. Alohomora. Meh. I like the castle around Christmas time. Am I going to get anything for Christmas? Revelio. Oh, big tree. Ah, I have been meaning to speak with you. I still can't believe we escaped the Ashwinders. Wait. You may not realize it, but you are the talk of the school since you saved me that day. I wonder how everyone knows about it. I told my mother in the hope that she would be more forgiving of what I have been up to if it came from me. She likely told other professors and <laughs> news travels quickly. Unfortunately, she might, in fact, have been even less forgiving than I'd hoped. If she knew more about what you've done, I suspect she'd be proud. If she knew any more about what I've done, she would never let me out of her sight again. I'm sorry. Has Officer Singer done anything with the evidence we provided? Probably she not. She has not. Yep. <sighs> Halo is as strong as ever. Someone needs to stop him, whether it is us or Officer Singer. If someone had stopped the monsters like him in Matabililand, my father would be alive today. What exactly happened to your father? It was a beautiful day. My mother had gone to tend to a neighbor who was ill, and so my father and I were galloping in the savannah. Galloping? 
Your father was also an Animagus, I take it. He could become the most majestic giraffe. And he would carry me on his back, my arms around his neck. We were on our way home when we surprised a group of bandits who had come from our village. One of them saw me just as he removed a scarf from his face. He shouted and then aimed his rifle. He didn't want you to identify him. Exactly. In an instant, my father bowed his neck to protect me and was hit. As he fell, my father changed back into his human form. When the bandits saw this, they turned and ran in fear. Magic terrified them, and then he was gone. <sighs> and it was all my fault. Your fault? How so? He died protecting me. If I had been capable of protecting myself, he would still be alive today. My mother and I tried to go on without him, but it became too much for us there. A few years later, we left to come to Scotland. Do you think taking down the Ashwinders will avenge your father's death? No. Vengeance is not what drives me. My father would not want that. He, and my mother, raised me to believe that it is a privilege to be able to fight for those who cannot. I know there is risk involved, but I feel it is worth it. <laughs> I am glad you seem to think so too. What does your mother think about all of this? Well, as you saw, she worries a great deal. She is an excellent seer, but I think it bothers her to this day that she did not see my father's death coming. She misses him, as do I. So I believe on some level she understands my need to seek justice in a small way, but that does not mean that she likes it. Do you think your father would approve of the things we've been doing? Oh my, that is a good question. In theory, yes, although he would worry as my mother does. But I think he, of all people, would understand my persistence. My father never shied away from a fight for good, no matter how ruthless the foe. And I think he would have enjoyed knowing that I had a compatriot like you. I'm sorry, Natty. I can't imagine what you've been through. Your father sounds exceptional. He was truly extraordinary. And thank you for your kind words. We all have our burdens. My father had a saying about that. Yes, I remember. Rain does not fall on one roof alone. Exactly. Soon you and I will put an end to the Ashwinders, beginning with Harlow. And once he is gone, we will turn our attention to Rookwood. We are making progress, and we will succeed. Thank you again for saving me. You deserve all of the praise you have received. Mm -hmm.